imagine you are in an interview and everything is going good then suddenly interviewer says let's solve your puzzle you're getting nervous because you are not prepared the puzzle is very simple there lives a king in a small country the king is very fond of wine in fact he has a collection of 1000 bottles of the finest wine in the world king is saving the wine collection for his grand birthday party just a day before the party the prime minister discovers that one of the enemy is trying to assassinate the king and has sent an assassin prime minister quickly sprung into action but before he could do something the assassin has already poisoned one bottle of wine he has to run before he could poison other bottles unfortunately prime minister couldn't catch him or figure out which bottle of wine was poisoned the puzzle is to find the poison bottle of course there are some constraint too the poison is designed in a way that it kills a person exactly after 24 hours this would have given the assassin enough time to leave the kingdom the poison is also tasteless odorless and transparent so that it doesn't show up when the bottle is opened and the wine is poured into a glass and obviously there is no cure for this poison since this all happened a day before birthday you have 24 hours to find out the poison bottle to save the party let's have a look at the resources you have the king has 10 prisoners he plans to execute you can use them as test testers to determine which bottle of wine contains the poison the poison when taken has no effect on the prisoner until exactly 24 hours later when the infected prisoner suddenly dies the king needs to determine which bottle of wine is poisoned by tomorrow so that the celebration can continue as planned because of this reason you only have time for one round of testing how can you find the poison bottle in 24 hours let's understand the solution take a simple example of four bottles with two prisoners we have to arrange things in a way that no matter which bottle contains poison we should be able to find out from the combination of prisoners who died after 24 hours this can only happen if no two prisoners are given drink from the same combination of bottle that is we have to distribute bottles uniquely among prisoners the answer is to arrange in a way that prisoner only drinks from the bottle if the binary representation of the bottle number has a set bit of 1 at the prisoner's position in simple words we are using serial numbers like 1 2 3 just in binary form this will make sure that the numbers are not repeated and are unique so in this example prisoner a drinks from the bottle number 2 and 3 and prisoner b drinks from the bottle number 1 and 3 this is represented by zeros and ones let's try to understand how this strategy work if the bottle zero contains poison no one will die because no one drank from it if the bottle number 1 contains poison prisoner b will die because prisoner b was the only one who drank from the bottle number 1 similarly if the poison is in bottle number 2 prisoner a will die and if the bottle 3 was poisoned both prisoner a and b will die so with only two prisoners we can find out the poison bottle among four bottles let's see how many bottles can we find if we have five prisoners instead of two we will be able to find poison bottles among 32 bottles which is also 2 to the power of 5 2 is the base of binary here because there is only two possibilities either prisoner can drink or don't drink from a bottle so extending the same logic with 10 prisoners we should be able to find poison bottle among maximum of 1024 bottles in just one round of testing and in this puzzle the total number of bottles is only 1000 which is less than the maximum number of bottles possible with 10 prisoners so we only need one round of testing or 24 hours to find out the poison bottle in this way the birthday party can happen on time thanks for watching